folks working hard for your dreams and goals is the only way to reach them. And nobody knows that better than our own Looney Bird, who's been working on a computer language for kids for years now, and he's almost done. Come on out here, Looney Bird, and tell us about it. Uh, I ain't working on that anymore, Billy Bobbit. It's, it's too hard. <laughs> Looney Bird, don't give me that. You've been working on this for years, trying to design a computer language that children can use, and, and what's the matter with you? Well, I was sitting around in the jacuzzi with Rolf the other day, and he told me it couldn't be done. Hey, I didn't say it couldn't be done, Billy Bob. I just said the Looney Bird couldn't do it. Now, Rolf, that's not very nice. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to be nice, just honest. It's a well-known fact that Looney Birds have never invented anything. And I merely suggested that he go back to something a little more natural to his species, like hunting nuts and berries in the forest. Ah! <laughs> Looney! this computer language to allow them to use computers. And, and besides, think about your heroes, all the men and women you believe in, who never quit. He got fired when he worked as a dream boy for the railroad man. And then he went to work as a telegraph clerk and got fired again. His boss has said he spent too much time doing stupid stuff. And then some crazy gadgets called a phonograph and the light bulb. <laughs> he was a dreaming man, ain't no doubt y'all tell him who you think I'm talking.
I know, Billy Bob, I'm, I'm so ashamed. I listened to Rolf. I'm going to go back to work, and I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invent that computer language for kids. That's my dream. You're a good bird, Lenny. <laughs> Comments. 